What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Ree. Today, I'm about to show y'all pretty much how you make a thumbnail, how I do mines anyway. So, I go to PixArt. I already added a picture. Add another picture on top of that. And here, right here, what I'm doing is aligning it. No, cropping myself. I'm sorry. I'm cropping myself. You know, then, then I blow it up, make it big. To give it that double look effect some people just put it on top some people uh i know me in particular like the double look a little bit around the edges you know I'm very particular in how I want my stuff. My bad for taking all along a line of it. And right here, I'm just adding a border around that to give it to make it pop, you know, stand out. I pick a filter, put it on that one picture, make it pop even more, you feel me? Bam! I'm telling you, people, they gon' they, they gonna click your video. You feel me? Um, I don't know what I think. I'm looking for something right here. What I'm looking for? What I'm looking for? What I'm looking for? All right. So I just add a little, like a lens called lens. I think lens flare to make it stand out to give it a a, a little extra pop. You feel me? I didn't like that one, so I know I took that one off. It's too bright. It don't. It just don't look right. So I'm gonna take that off. I'm gonna find a better one. So I'm gonna just, you know, stretch it out. You can move it, size it up, any kind of way you want. Don't even make it pop a little bit. Just look at that. You know. People would text me at the wrong time. So right here, I'm just adding a text to the uh the thumbnail. Y'all can see that real good. And mind you, I just learned this myself. This is not the only app that I use, though. I also use Super Impose X. And it's just as good as this one. So um, I'm probably going to do another video to show y'all how I use Super Impose X to make my thumbnails also. But let's get back into this video. So right here, I'm just looking for, you know, you could change the color if you want. Right here, I just picked the one, the little one in the middle, to give it that that kind of black and white look, you know. I'm just playing with the little thing, you know, trying to find. Try, I just, you know, when you're doing this, you still want it to be legible, to be able to read clearly, um, from your viewers, so. I try to think about that as well. So when they see it, it stand out, it pop out from the rest. So right here look like I'm dragging a shadow. Is it the shadow? Yeah, it's the shadow in the back. That kind of go around the picture. You could also change the color of the shadow, which I, sh I think, I don't know, I should have showed y'all how to do that as well. But this is me um changing the shadow behind the words. 
You can change the shadow, the color. I think I'm gonna go with that dark green. I have to find out my color. Customize it. You can customize your color as well. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm going for a dark green up in this one. Good enough. And right here, I'm just gonna add a little extra something, you know, to make it pop. You want your readers to, you know, to see stuff on that and you know the, whatever you put on that it makes it pop so that'll definitely make them want to watch your video thumbnails are very very important this is your call and this is how you you know you 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 get them to click on your video in the first place and right here i'm just gonna go to the little thing see if i can add uh like some little pngs or you know um a photo to make it stand out not to make it look more interesting you can do this you can you can keep it the way i had it or you can just add your own love uh, you know my internet going slow right there so i just stopped the video so um when my internet was back up i um google like motivation you know stuff but it's, it's popping up with all this extra stuff and talking about stay home, stay safe. And we're not talking about coronavirus in this video. So that's definitely not what I'm looking for. So but I wind up finding some words that kind of go hand in hand with the video. So I was like, snatch, give me that. Put that on the uh on the thumbnail. Just sizing up my words right now. Try to give it that look. Try to make it stand out. You know, instead of just... I'm very peculiar about how my words look on my thumbnail. I'm going to go back on now. Uh, I'm going to go and look for some stuff that... um. You know, just something to go hand in hand with the video, like positive quotes, anything to, you know, because, you know, the video about um, motivation when you're doing YouTube, because sometimes it's easy to just give up and be like, man, look, F this, like, it's taking too long for me to get to where I need to be, but you just got to keep going and you don't stop. So... You know, right here, I'm looking for some kind of PNG text, something else I can put on there, which I think I wind up not putting nothing on there. But I'm just showing y'all that you can go down, look and see what they have. If you like something, just type in what you want at the top in the search bar. If it pull up and you like something, you could also add that in your video. I think I added something, then I wind up taking it off because I ain't like how it look. I mean, you don't want to overdo it as well. So I just put the little notification bell on that little black bell to try to go with my theme or the color that, you know, I was going for. This is the part I tried to put something on there and I ain't like how it looks, so I just took it off. Excuse me, <clears throat> my throat kind of irritated, so my voice might sound just a little bit hoarse than it normally is. So, 
Hope y'all can understand what I'm saying. I took that off. And I think I'm going to just keep it just like that. Because I think that's enough. I think I'm not overdoing it. Um, I look at the kind of look at the picture and be like, what else will look good on that? And this is just extra stuff I'm looking for uh, at the top of the search bar. They didn't have much. Sometimes you go on a search bar, you might be looking for something specific. They might not have it. So it's best. You could always go to your regular internet on your phone and look up PNG and just grab it from your camera roll. If you want to put something onto your um, your thumbnail. And this is how it turned out right here. Thank you for watching. Hope I helped.